But I helped a lot of the top-notch gaming company to exporting some title. Then the, my international career also started from Bandai Namco. Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm very proud to have a session in Malaysia because two and a half years ago, I was in charge of setting up Malaysia studio. So that was my ex first experience to work in Malaysia. And every, uh, like bi-weekly, I came from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur by bus or by train, back and forth, frequently. That, uh, that is uh, my challenge because, yeah, as you have seen that I have no background of the arts, but I had to take an interview of the artists of the, yeah, some art school of the, this Mauritius, but uh, I have a lot of the learning from this Mauritius, so that's why I'm very excited to have a session. It's been two years since that period, I don't have so many chances to come to Malaysia. But after that, uh, I took position in Bushiro. I'm very curious how many of you guys are familiar with Bushiro. Oh, okay. Uh, the more than half people have already known that. But originally, Bushiro is a training car game business. So gaming is quite pretty new. But uh, I'm going to tell you afterward. But uh, I'm in charge of not only is that the car game, but digital game, sometimes animation and sports. Uh, that was a yeah, fantastic job for me to do various kind of the entertainment business. So and I also in a position of the MBA lecturer of the Waseda and the NTU, Nanyang Technology University. So compared to the other sessions, my session tend to be more educational, academic. I try to not to do, but uh, try to put more industrial experience, but uh, uh, allow me to do a kind of, kind of tons of information and uh, marketing perspective lecture. So let me start. Uh, this is my flight. Capitalize created characters. I have many companies is trying to make their own IP. But uh, yeah, some of the character can be succeeded to be the famous, but it's a totally different story to capitalizing. Without capitalizing and to be the profitable characters, we cannot sustain. So what I, I have learned through that experience of the Bushiro is uh, to make a profit through the famous character. That is a very technical one compared to the, the just the game creation. So starting from the Bushiro introduction, so thanks to the last 11 years since the foundations, Bushiro have been in a good trend. Oh, it's a plugging. So originally, that our character started from a card game purely. So first year, we established that the uh, White Schwartz is a title, and the uh, Banger, which could be an iconic title in card game. And uh, we had a hundred million size of the hype happen in here. But the uh, latter half of the five years, we struggled, struggled to make another business, meaning digital game and sports. That's a unique combination, but uh, digital game is a love life in, uh, associated with uh, Bandai Namco Group. But uh, thanks to that uh, we succeeded to nurture the two different characters, love life and uh, new Japan Pro Wrestling. It's like a yeah, Pro Wrestling Association in Japan. But uh, we succeeded to reviving that uh, sales, sales wise. Yeah. At that time, the New Japan Producing was uh, just less than 10 million and on the verge of the extinction. But after the acquisition, it lucked up to that uh, last year, it finalized in uh, 50 million. So in seven years, it succeeded to make the character to be more visible, not only the character, but the talents of the wrestlers, and succeeded to reinvigorate the. Uh, this new Japan producing contents into this phase. And the latest one is a Van Dream. It's just released in this spring, even in this international sections, and it's succeeding in certain amount. And additionally, the, what we have made is a Prince of Tennis or a, yeah, those characters. That is not IP we created, but sometimes we have some external IP to bring into this game scene. And the recent release will be the debut Starlight, and the Vanguard new title is going to be released soon. And 
flow wrestling is going to be in America. So this is a history of the Bushiro. So we succeeded to transform from car game, traditional toy business to the digital game, sports business. And the current sales of those trading card is less than 50%. Gradually, one third of sales come from digital game and one third come from live entertainment. It's a bit unique combinations. I, I don't see many other example company who can do the similar things. And this is a bit tricky chat, but I made it. So CCC capitalized, uh, created characters, meaning of the lights. How much you can hold the own lights and the amplifying sales in various business period. So in our case, we have the tennis of talent, voice actress, and put their voice into the animation. And still the fledging phase, we cannot make this animation to be more visible. Then by using the media channel and the live event, Cat Expo is we are organizing by ourselves, and the merchandising. By using those various business period, we make everything in a famous. And after gaining some certain attention, we can get profit by trading card game and a digital game. Those two are definitely the profit revenue period. Some animation can set off for the TV lights into the broadcasters or transmitters, like Netflix and uh, Crunchyroll, something like that. But in a combination of gaming and the videos and the live entertainment and the talent and those medias, encircling those business periods, enabling, enabling that uh, yeah, new character from the ground. But what I can strengthen here is, is that uh, just purely game creation is not enough to be big hit. Sometimes it happens, but in our cases, most of the business happen based on that, uh, some planned actions. Every time I, we originally make the new IPs, we plan in advance every kind of those channels. Or alternative ways, it's hugely invested. Huge investment is needed to make this happen. So alliance sometimes is needed. We are not full set company. Sometimes we need some external help to bring up to the table. So lights is a centric value of the Bushiro business. And this is a key of the capitalization. This is a laugh chat of the licensed loyalties, uh, industrial goods, wholesale goods, retail, apparel, entertainment toys. On industry average, 9% of the retail sales will be the loyalty portion. In a case of the digital game, sometimes 20% or 30% extravagant portion will be extracted as like a tax. But uh, what I can say here is that the character's value is more valuable than any other brand, not only the icon or character. So that will be most fancy side, but I can get down to that example, Van Dream. So this iconic and a staple title for us. It's currently that we have gaining two to three million users, active users roughly. But uh, this is viable only the condition, as a different period sustaining the users. Gaming is not enough because gaming, live operation, can sustain a certain amount, but uh, users is not sticking only the gaming itself. Sometimes they need a collection, they need a talent to be appeal. So 1.5 million users of the, the Twitter followers of the every talent, and also the 1 million followers of our SNS, mostly from Twitter, and we have the YouTube channels, 0.3 million. So in aggregation, 1.1 to 1.5 million sustainably they are watching our contents. And sometimes we hosted music live event and a car expo or merchandising can capture certain amount of the users. And animation is definitely that the opening space. This is always at the inception of the new characters. And digital game, 10 million download and roughly 2 million monthly TV users. Trading card game business is a bit, yeah, limited, but uh, solid gaming, solid user ground as well. And 
we started the internationalization after the release of the first title in Japan. It's been one year, but uh, this spring we started the uh, international mobile game. And sometimes the license is very key because our character itself is not enough to maintain the user's attention. So we collaborate with Hatsune Miku or Persona, or we importing continuously the external music titles, which has some certain user's basis, inflow into this Van Dream characters. So in a total combination, we can capture 2 million, 3 million users, but we don't do any operation. All of a sudden, that user is gone. It's hard to capture the user's attention. That is the most difficult part of the current entertainment business. And uh, this is at the Van Dream penetration. This is a comparative chart of the other big two titles, Love Live. Love Live's case is unprecedented. Uh, this user recognition coming from the uh, index of uh, Google Trend. The, in their cases, that the hype happened from animation was enormous. Yeah, we cannot control it, but uh, unprecedented way, they capture the future attention and some talent of the, this Love Live can be visible even in the Kohaku Utagasen and the end of the, this year, the end of the 2015. Uh, because of famous of the love life, yeah, voice actress was singing at the uh, end of the year concert. That was a, one of the famous show in Japan. Rating is going to be 20 to 30 percent a year, but uh, it's a bit rare to have the anime related contents to be in such a uh, real scene. In that level, love life was uh, extremely success, and we are catching up that way, even in our original fan dream contents, and. Uh, comparatively, the Idol Master is a very profitable title, but not succeeding to capture the user itself. It's more a solid user base for a high Apple game. And Van Dream is not so bad. It's very comparable size to the other two big titles. And the CD. So we continuously releasing the music CDs. It's more a collection purpose, but the past series, the peak point of the live is we cannot catch up, but the one CD sell more than uh, likely 100K or 200K volume. So that may not happen even that uh, very celebrity series in Japanese music scene. But uh, we gradually increasing that uh, sales per series gonna be 200 or 300K US dollar basis. Finally, mobile game sales. It's very rough, rounded numbers. But uh, uh, compared to the Love Live, Idol Master's terrific strategy is they branching out the titles in different way. So starting from Sai Games, uh, this is Idol Master Cinderella Gauss. That was the inception of the monetization of this Idol Master. But uh, right after that, they released in uh, the million live of the Idol Master. Both are the web-based game. So succeeding to take a certain ground in uh, Gree, not Gree, the mobile, mobile game and uh, Gree. But uh, Love Live was uh, the first title to be succeeded as a music game in application upon Google. Then they are following the same path. So those two titles was also released in application. And finally, 400 million. It's an yearly basis, but they can gain such a huge ground. So our Van Dream is also in a very good time. It's now double up, but uh, I can put more hope because we are just starting only the first series of the animation. We are releasing the next year two series. So it's gonna be a more big hype. So it's a bit tricky chat. But uh, I'm gonna instruct you about the Google Trend and the SNS users and the game users, worldwide meaning of the international. So it's a very not absolute index. Roughly, I rounded uh, how much users is growing, and you can easily grasp the, the size increment of the each period. And I'm very surprised always that the big hype comes from animation. I now know that the big power of animation and anime series last only three months, 13 episodes. That the difficult part is 
always animation invest is two million, three million, and it lasts only three mi three months. So hard to maintain that attention more longer. So most of the struggle of the gaming company in these days is try to release the same timing of the animation. So we need a planned activity in advance, two years, three years before the conceptualization. We have to make a game animation simultaneously. Two business period is heavily invested, but uh, we cannot see if it succeeded or not. It's very challenging lottery business. But after capturing animation users, then gaming is more sustainable. So we can sustain the 50K, 100K, 1 million. Gradually, we can get the capturing the users in this way. And in the same trend, SNS user is also growing. And I always putting my attention not at the sales, but the user basis. It's easy to capture some profit in short term. It's not so difficult. Just uh, making more beauty items in the gachas. And the uh, ARPPU is a more controllable channel. But uh, creating that the certain ground of the users who keep playing is the hardest part. So good, good sort of events made a terrific role to maintain the users in this period. I'm going to explain in the next slide. But in this way, users steadily increase at the base. So trends always start from animation. But the gaming nurtures the sales for users, SNS or other features is needed to maintain that the users. So animation is a first wave, definitely. And uh, mobile captures the second wave. They maintain that the uh, instant attention to keep playing a daily basis. But most important part is here. The releasing animation on gaming is always sporadic. We can do it once a year or at most uh, twice a year. But in this way, it's harder to maintain the user's attention. In these days, it's getting much, much harder in a very competitive world. Every user is chasing something, new things. So can you see the example of that uh, your name, that a very famous film in Japan, or uh, Yokai Watch? They are succeeding to gain huge hype in a fast advance. But all the titles is the hardest thing is how to maintain it. But uh, animation on a mobile doesn't happen often. So we try to furnish the facility for the users to continuous contents provide by talent and SNS and music and live. Because talent is just appears. We let them to appear in every occasion and try to interact each user's basis. The size-wise, it's much less than those two as a big one, but it can fill the gap. In one year earnings, two year earnings, it's very enough for the people to chase away to another contents, but filling the gap is done by those other ones. So always, that, uh, if you want to make a very successful big titles, you have to associate with those different business. Uh, Sanctuary is a Bushiro can do that everything by ourselves, but uh, that cannot be happen in just one single company. Then amplifying that sales into that, uh, another animation edition or a globalization. But the point is animation, so the next Chapter is uh, I'm gonna tell you about the animation. It's a bit tricky business in Japan, but why animation is capturing such a huge amount of attention in these days? Uh, I'm gonna skip it because two years ago I just uh, yeah show this one. So Dragon Ball, I was in, not in charge of this project, so I cannot tell the detailed story. But uh, this is uh, my analytics from outside, and uh, I'm not sure how many. People have already known that, but recently, Bandai Namco is succeeding to be in the, the highest profit, highest sales in the history, thanks to the Dragon Ball. This is the uh, whole picture of how much sales they gain from each character. 
Can you see that the Dragon Ball, Gundam, One Piece, Kamen Rider, but one single character gain one billion sales? But the first 2010 to 2012, the, their success come from One Piece. They shipped out to that web-based game, uh, monthly 10 million sales, something like that. Then they can grow up that the sales from 40K to the 150 to 300, something like that. But maintenance is hard, even though such a very famous titles, the, they're sustaining sales, but you can see the Yokai Watch sales. So 2014, they gained 550 million sales, but now it's gone three years. So our, yeah, always that the things to be considered is maintenance. And thankfully that the Dragon Ball, starting from 100 to the 1 billion, but uh, surprisingly this comic or this story starting from 1984, animation also be on air in the first period, but it's been a while since they are active on that uh, business scene. Very mysterious why this kind of old, popular but very old title can be reinvigorated. Then anime, the Dragon Ball Kai was not so popular, but uh, they have been here in uh, five years, but uh, Dragon Ball Super in English things, that changed the world all of a sudden. So that's like a band dream. So this Bandai Namco's title will be also succeeding to consolidating every period in a one shot. Then such a big boom come out. So it's just a sketch, I don't know detail, but uh, normally the animation committee is the, one of the, uh, the flaws and cons, but the uh, flaws of the anime committee is they can succeed some lights after making the animation story and a visual image and voice. They, in certain freedom, they can use it for the, the gaming or other periods. So from the original creators, they pass it to the, the, this anime production committee, and the Toei animation is anime production. But Nanamoko is just a component of making the game of it, but just one component can make it a one billion by just one character. This is another story of the Toei animation, but uh, can you see that the very visible image the, roughly, they are gaining 50 million something in every year, but all of a sudden, even that the One Piece can gain 16 or 70, but uh, Dragon Ball is almost 15 to that, uh, yeah, 140 million. It's 10 times as much as uh, four years ago. So, strength of the anime committee is they can share the success. After making a big feat, every player consisting that the anime committee can gain some certain revenue from that the anime committee's whole successful characters. So this is a Dragon Ball related sales in a total. And Bandai Namco is this blue chat and a light blue one is the Dragon Balls of the toy animation. And Akatsuki is a mobile game developer of the Dragon Ball Dokkan Battle. But everybody is consociated. Animation, the 2015 was the exact timing of the 13th anniversary of the animation. So that has to be planned two years, three years in advance to collecting some enough players. Why don't you guys make that uh, Dragon Ball related contents? Not only the gaming, but products, merchandising items, animation. Every players jump in and to make that, uh, their product in the same timing. That is a pretty important part. But starting the anniversaries, the before the animation era, console game, Dragon Ball, Xenoverse, was also extremely hot. Uh, it is not noted in these sales, but uh, they have sold 10 million volume something. That is roughly saying that uh, 500 million US dollar sales, something like that. So even in the mobile, they gained 2 billion, 3 billion in three years. But even in console game, they succeeded, and mobile game have shifted in the same exact timing. 
So consolidated mixed promotional branded up characters on the 13th anniversary. So that is the secret of the Dragon Ball success, uh, Bungie success. So this is a juicy part. How can we get in the animation committee? The, I don't see so many international players can take part in. I know that the animation committee is very solid and uh, has a long history without some, yeah, some depth relation. It's hard to get in. But the uh, animation committee is one of the style to make the lights. So I know some successful mobile game also making that uh, animation, but timing doesn't perfectly match. So in the case of Puzzle, Puzzle and Dragon, they hit it one billion sales yearly basis from 2012, 13, 14. Currently, that the, by the pressure of the monsters like they are now declining, but they can make the animation six years after the release of mobile. And monsters like this, they are more faster, but two years is needed to make animation after the, the series. Then, Glam Blue Fantasy, Took just uh, two, uh, same two to three years. Uh, I cannot say they capture a huge amount of attention by the animation, because they have already have the certain ground in the mobile. But the uh, trick is, you doesn't care much about the animation game anything. The users want to experience that the uh, world setting characters or the playable things in the depth. As long as the animation replacing some different fancy experience to the users, then animation does have some functioning. But in the case of those, those one, uh, mobile games success, key stories, uh, not only that uh, story setting, mostly it's just uh, like, uh, I used to say that example is, uh, mobile game is needed a huge collection of the art style. It's not setting the playable, it's not setting the uh, world setting. So those mov terrific mobile game have not prepared enough characters, enough world setting. Then they started again to make the uh, story again in an animation. It's not so easy work. Mostly the users are hooked in the story or characters, but the gaming success comes from art gallery. It's like a collection setting the art style into the each individual characters. They are not just uh, very entertaining, but just uh, killing the time by watching the good fancy art and just uh, killing time in a short time. It's an uh, incompatible experience to the other animation or the goods. But uh, as long as animation can supply different experience, then it can be viable. But in the case of those animation, I don't think that uh, those animation provide completely different experience to the, the game. But in a case of former two titles, starting from animation, world setting, and the gaming is just one component of the world setting, they are just uh, playing inside of the world, and inside, amongst the characters they can play. They are experiencing the world setting itself, not the gaming itself. So that's why that the animation and the gaming is uh, compatible. Dragon Ball, also, they have already known that the characters, and application will start it. The same timing, animation will start it. So some users want to watch that the animation. Sometimes they want to consume some continuous contents as like a gaming. Gaming is always live operating. So animation users can be also captured by mobile and vice versa. Game, game users can be also compared to that animation. And Van Dream is also same like that. And in our cases, uh, those also collectible, collectible items or talent filling the gap between the user's de demand and uh, our suppliable contents. So user's focus is on the, the deeper experience of the world setting character itself, not the animation or gaming, just a facet of the each. So IP brand power, it's uh, just a blah, blah, blah. So you don't check in detail, but uh, only the underlying part so, brand is created by the accumulation of experience with various kind of specific product or service. So we need 
specific product and service in simultaneously to immerse the users into the one world. So exposures, experience, and brand. I can give you some interesting example. Uh, even in Japan, we have only 50 years history to make characters. Our original one, the, our IP business started from Tetsuma Atom, Astro Boy. That has started comic. But it was very peaceful period. Nobody rushed them. So it took a while to make animation. But uh, 10 years after publishing the comic, they started animation. There was a completely in a let. The, they striving to make weekly contents and the facility is not well equipped. But the uh, revenue period at the time was a uh, snack. Meiji Seika, uh, there was a chocolate company and the 1950s and 1960s, uh, still the caramel is the most booming item for kids. People doesn't get accustomed to eating chocolate. But Meiji Seika tried to create a new ground for the chocolate by using new characters. It's a very fast incident of the mixed merchandising. And their sales coming from 3 million next year, 10 times, 30 million. This is the power of the brand. So people realize, why can't we use that character to put the commercialized item? Then this is a turn of the Bandai. Bandai have been very successful to make the characters items. So they are very factor was this animation, Uchu Senkan Yamato. I don't know the English name, but uh, started 1974. And they made a film, video, but uh, revenue come from this Pura model, plastic model. The, it, it's not off-sided, but uh, at that period, Bandai was on the verge of bankruptcy. Bandai Moke, Bandai Pura model section, was thinking to terminate the operation as a Pura model making, because uh, 1970 was booming for the sports car. They couldn't get catch on the bandwagon. And uh, as a Imai Kagaku, or, uh, as a toy maker is succeeding, Takaratomi or something, but uh, Bandai was dropped half, and 1977 was on the badge. But uh, they tried to make use of this character's icon to the Tapla model, and it sold well. So th that was a very benefactor for them. After this success, they started to amplify this success. It's like a reproduction of the success. Then they made the Gundam, 1970-78. So that was a kind of starting point of our IP business, Japanese history. Then from 1980s, there are several good examples, but I can put that uh, this is a light novel originator Slayers. It's not so familiarity in this international section, but uh, Slayers have been made by the Kadokawa, and they made a comic, animation video, game, TCG, and the revenue channel is anime video and gaming. Can you see that each period have a different way of monetization? Capitalization has a trend. What is the most consumable item for the users? It's changing year by year. So we have to capture what is the best way to capitalize. So CCC has transformed from snacks, toys, and game in any period. But animation have taken a key role. And it's a bit more educational one, but uh, advertised style. So there's a drastic change for the anime committee. In, before that, uh, 1995, we didn't have the anime committee. Mostly the IP owner was the anime production. They made it, so they own it. But anime production is mostly 100 size, 200 size. They are not enough to make another business as well. So this Evangelium was starting point to transforming the way to make business in animation. And some certain change is toss up to the anime committee. 10 -ish, sometimes 20 -ish players jump in at the one anime committee and each person invested in each section and they share the risk, they share the profit. So through that period, uh, last two decades, 
animation business have been in a rapture. So business model is like this. So production cost is like a two million something, and each players, so VOD players, music players, TCG players, partially invested one million, two hundred k, one hundred k by the expectation of the each sales, and production itself also invested. So this hundred k, they have to take a risk, but by the combination of the investment. 1.5 million funding will be done. Then they started production, and this is uh, actualized sales. There is just an example. It's not the case of the boundary, but uh, it just put the image. So 2 million VOD, CD, 200K, and TCG music book was not profitable, but thanks to the profit of the VOD, they can share the profit like this. They are easing that the risk each player have taken. Then like this. So unfortunately, in this case, that uh, most of the players have to bear some certain lead. But uh, total organization or annual committee was uh, profitable. So this is a whole structure of anime committee. But uh, profitable chance is very less, less than 10%, as far as I know. But the people keep investing because they have to own the lights to expect a huge sales as like a previous example. And this is a whole picture of the history of the animation. Can you see that the number of the animation shipped out? So how peaceful period that <laughs> two decades is. But after that, uh, this Evangelion, can you see that? One year, 350. And that is a dividing into the four season. So each season, 60 to 70 titles is going to be shipped out. We have to choose which is going to be the profitable, which is going to be the popular. But it's less chance lottery. So we have to be thinking what is the best way for the business from now on. 2020, from 2020, we don't expect too much for the anime committee because uh, Always, every business can be weighing down after the people flocked in. If everybody is doing the same things, then that business is about to be collapsed. So we start on 100% by anime committee in these days. Uh, we have to seek the different way of business model. But the uh, growth of the package sales, 2055 to 1995 to 2005, uh, they can gain some profit from the sale of the video and uh, it's transformed to that uh, Blu-ray disc. But package business itself is now dropping down. So new business started from the VOD and recently mobile gaming. So those are the two profitable channels in these days. So anime is in a top form, meaning of some bubble. I'm not sure when this bubble is exploded, but the video game, video and a DVD package revenue is transformed to the VOD and gaming sales. So in 10 years, the climate has changed a lot. So can you see that the consumption market and the production market is different. Production market is that the gaining for the anime production itself, and the consumption is a consolidated sales of the mobile game, and merchandising and animation uh, 10 times big. But uh, production itself have growth 66%. Currently 250 production is making animation and they have already booked two or three years. If we want to make animation in Japanese production, we have to wait 2020 or 2021, something. And in a tight relation with animation production, we can participate in. So in such level, it's going to be bubble because everybody was seeing that the last 10 years uh, success of the animation committee. So anime bubble is about to explore it. More players flock in uh, anime with the aim to hold IP patent, getting lesser chance to hit. And this is a variety of the lights. So as I said earlier, it's less than 10% chance to be success. So in that case, most of the lights is just uh, pended. None of the player exercising their lights, just holding, oh, I can make this game, 
but the character itself cannot be popular, then we cannot make it, something like that. So it's just an example, more than 14, but uh, in that level, the animation space is more wider for the, the various players to invest. So consistent world creation, this is a key term, how we can put our hope for the next futures of the animation. In certain land, uh, degree of branded values and visibility, we cannot necessarily say that uh, popularity, uh, visibility compared to that uh, land. In certain timing, the popular title cannot be branded. Uh, I don't want to say it's a bad example, but this is not the fault of the character itself. But uh, this is Dako-chan, uh, produced by Takara Tomi, but uh, in this case, uh, this is a kind of controversial issue of the social racism, something. It's irrelevant to the, this character itself. Then people know it, but people doesn't buy it. But uh, like uh, Rika-chan doll, it is succeeded. So we always seeking some point. What is the tipping point to make it bland or just a popular but non-profitable characters? It's a combination. So in this case, after making that the visibility is well and the blended character, but capitalization is another story. So to my view, to look back on the 10 years ago, but the combination of Namco and Bandai was very good integration because Namco was really good at making that the IP by themselves in gaming scene. And Pac-Man, Tekken, and Ace Combat. Bandai is way more good at uh, capitalizing by using items. So sometimes we need some external help to capitalizing, as long as uh, you don't have that uh, profitable channel. But the uh, capitalizing driver is changing, as I said earlier, the snacks and toys in the 1970s, and toys and comics and films in the 1980s, and 1990s is gaming video toys. And 2000 is a game DVD toys, and recently mobile game and a BOD. I'm not sure to an extent it can last, but so far mobile game and the BOD is always keen for the every animation committee. So there's many blended but non-capitalized characters. We have to consociate some association. So this is an example of our band dream. We started from the talent. It was 2014. We started the concept and the two trains that this voice actress plays the music instruments. It's some kind of ridiculous ideas. None of the voice actress used to play the music instrument. And uh, if we request them, it's very hard to be convinced because they are specialized in the voice itself. It's not specialized in the playing itself. But they can do it in a high commitment. And uh, this talent itself can be visible in the live entertainment. And uh, they are shown the size of the space is growing, starting from 500, 2000. Recently, 10,000 to the 20,000 users flock in one place to see their characters. And the books and animation started 2017, and same timing releasing on mobile. And definitely our specialty is a big promotion uh, by advertisement of the, yeah, those traffic or the commercial, and the capitalizing by training card or item monetization on mobile. And recently, our character is put on the Eon Cinema in a film. It's an alarming the movie for the unmanner of users. And another world, the, we spin out with a license of the other world setting and can gain some uh, our cooperators like Lawson, Eon, or Fujiku Highland, Kare Rice can put our characters. And continuous content can be provided by the, this music because recently that the, most of the, our city is ranked in a billboard. It's just a normal billboard of the, the talent or celebrities, but uh, this animation voice actresses series is hitting 100K, 200K, sometimes 1 million sales can be achievable. So consistent world setting, people cannot get fed up with it. So users, always find something relating to the, this band dream contents. 
in the world they are living. So this was a key to create one character. Recent example, we just released one week ago, Review Starlight, but uh, it was a two year, three years project. We were making animation, and this is a bit tricky one. Musical was a starting point. So let the, those actress to perform in musical. So <laughs> Bushiro talent is, doesn't have a space to take a lesson. <laughs> they have to play music instruments. <laughs> they have to perform on that uh, musical. But a musical itself is very small size, limited number of the users can access. But uh, animation started from this July. And as well, so we promoted in that every possible way to promote an advertisement. And thankfully that uh, this release titles hit up to that the download number one in Japan, closing 11 in Google Play, but uh, it, it's ranked up to the 10 yesterday, I checked it. But in the iOS, it's just three days since the uh, releasing, but uh, it got 18 in closing, but uh, yesterday I checked it, it's uh, ranked nine. So both platform, we can gaining certain land. So as like uh, Van Dream, so we can get uh, 10 million uh, monthly sales by this game character, but it cannot be made on one day because we have prepared two years, three years in advance. We heavily invested training cost or the music level cost or the animation cost and gaming cost. So review Starlight, talent, musical content expand with anime game on this October. So the, uh, to summarizing this whole picture of what, what we can do it to make uh, characters. So this is uh, just uh, two example, but can you see which company is it? So this side is that, uh, yeah, as I shown you, but uh, anime production sales outer circle shows you that uh, sales and the uh, inner, inner circle is a profit. But mostly the sales coming from the anime production, one star, and the two star come, uh, half come from the, this license. But profit wise, 90% come from this license, toy animation. And this is another example the 190 million sales in a goods on the SEMA pack. And profit coming from license, definitely. And this is San Leo. So mostly license business consists of experimenting ground as like a cinema park, goods, merchandising, or animation. It's not totally profitable, but it's just a generation of the character itself. But after it's gonna be popular, they can license out and are gaining profit. And this is a chart of the vertical line is at the expense per users. And the horizontal line is that how many users used to watch and play of the each characters. And the uh, mass contents as like uh, uh, Flozen. Uh, they are gaining 60 million even in Japan users. But uh, each user doesn't pay mo much, yeah, the definitely. But uh, 50 million is the market size. And in uh, Dragon Quest is the iconic titles in Japanese RPG gaming. Uh, the users is not so sizable, but uh, LPPU or each sales per user, it's sizable. Then One Piece is 150 million, and the Conan is 100 million. And it's not Darth Vader, it's a Star Wars, half gaining at 100 million. And recently, Gundam, luck up to that 170 million. Nogizaka 48 is uh, some idol group, and uh, Smart for Arashi. So uh, compared to those two famous idol groups for the female, the like uh, Idol Master and uh, Love Live. Surprising that Love Live rank up to the uh, number two economic consumption compared to the, any other entertainment contents. In that level, 2015 or 16, they are gaining huge land. None of the old mass users doesn't know what this is, but uh, some actress is appearing on the uh, Kohaku Dagasen. People are surprised, okay, that the animation age has come. So La Idol Master, Love Live are uh, the culmination of the high core targeted IP, and uh, we also aim at it.
So this is the last chat. I'm going to show you that, uh, yeah, my mission is how we can amplify this Japanese success into the international. Yeah, all of the story is some kind of helpless because Indies cannot do it. So there's some one chance that uh, they shifted out and uh, some gaining hype like a Flappy Bar or Angry Bar. But uh, in a mature market, it's very, very hard uh, to one character make up famous in just one period. Without some, such a consociated approach, it, it's harder to get down to that uh, one depth. But the Japanese content market is 100 billion in total. It's a combination of the film or the videos or TV or advertisement. Comparatively, the US is including sports content. So they are much bigger content market, 500 billion. And China is now growing, 130 billion, but it's now edging up to that level of the US. And soon or later, so they can be equivalent level of the US. But a whole worldwide consumption content market is 100, 1 trillion, 1.3 trillion. But exporting, the US is more good at exporting their titles, as like a Frozen or a Star Wars. Uh, comparatively, that the Japanese content is not good at it. Just only 2% of the market size is exporting. But uh, we should put our eye on it. It's an influenced market. It's a bit tricky chat, but uh, 30, 33 billion of market coming from anime, manga related content. There's some other international players, or uh, as like players in Southeast Asia. They are trying to make uh, Japanese-related, Japanese IP content. They can gain some certain ground. So my focus is here. We are kind of the culture of craftsmanship. Japanese doesn't have so much great marketer, great promoters, but are really good at making it itself. But after creating a good ground for characters, we have to find alliance partner to enabling into the, each localized market. So exporting itself has to be our mission, but also that uh, expanding our collective, uh, our created characters into this international section, and how we can enlarging that this 33 billion into the world. So JP's manga anime influence should have more existence. See how many anime brand structure influence worldwide market. So that's a whole story I was trying to tell you that. Uh, I have seen in Bushiro is totally different of my previous company because previous my experience is just making game. But sometimes using the promotion, using the external animation production to help us in a consortium, the, that is the enabler for that uh, character creation. And from 2020s, the next decades, uh, the situation may be different, even in Japan, VOD or the mobile game not gonna be the silver bullet. It's not gonna be profitable because of too high density of the new product. It's getting harder to make it. So our focus is by using talent or merchandising channel to pave the way. All the continuous approach, user can maintain, can consume something related to the content. Then, Finally, we can actualize those new character contents as like a yeah, previous band dream or review starlight cases. Normally thinking those kind of niche geeks type of the animation cannot be popular in top 10. Compared to the Dragon Ball, One Piece, it can beat them by such a small ground, but we can make a solid ground by using such an encircling business periods. For the chance for that, uh, some players in Southeast Asia is I want some help. How we can localize those characters into each region? We succeeding to ship out our card game into the Thailand, Vietnam, or Italy. Each individual player is strong at that place, tailoring that the marketing way or production, even the production, they can help and uh, to transforming the way of the production. And uh, with the help of the local localizers, we can get down to the each individual market. So compared to the Europe, always the Asia is fragmented. But uh, that is a kind of entry barrier for the external person. International player cannot be easily get into the Southeast Asia. But we can be something with the help of each individual localizers. 
That is uh, the message I wanted to tell you. So thank you so much for the patience for the, such an information heavy content. Hi, uh, thank you for sharing. Um, uh, just now you said um, for some games or IP characters, uh, having art galleries or cute characters, is it mainly for Japanese market or can it transcend outside of Japanese? I know you even uh, you even mentioned the anime committee because yeah, yeah. I never heard of anime committee um, just, uh, just now. Yeah, so is it yeah. as well? If I can yeah uh, answer about that. our current contents mostly Japanese game uh, Japanese communities. Uh, for us, we know how to make a community in Japan by using the TV channels or the Facebook channel, but uh, I'm not good at that uh, external one. So we just started to shift out. But uh, our internationalized way of our application is just to put on a market. We don't do too much. So in Japan, it's easier to get in because they have already equipped with a consociated marketing approach, but don't have any here. So that is a, another mission for us, how we can be strong in each individual market. Hope that answers your question. If you have more, I think Atsuo will be here live to take your questions off the mic. Thank you very much for uh, attending this session. Let's give it up for Atsuo Nakayama.